nurse practitioners, Erica D, the nurse practitioner charting coach here. I am the creator of the nurse practitioner charting school, which is the one stop for all documentation resources created specifically for nurse practitioners. And today we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of using Freed AI. Now Freed AI is an AI system that helps nurse practitioners and providers get their charts done so that they can sign them right after the patient encounter and so that you can stop charting at home. It's something that I've started to use in my own practice in primary care and it saves me a ton of time and we'll talk about some of the other pros about using Freed AI. But I also want to be honest with you and talk about some of the cons or some of the negatives of using Freed AI. So let's get into it. So Freed AI uses voice recognition to help abstract important information. So what you do is you log on to Freed AI website and you can use, start using it right away and it will abstract any important information said by either the patient or the provider. So, you know, as the nurse practitioner, when you're asking the questions about the patient's signs and symptoms, the patient is telling you, you know, what's going on, any previous treatment that they did. Um, as a provider, if you're talking about, you know, some of the lab findings or some of the new medications you'll be prescribing, it helps to abstract all of that important information and then populates it into a SOAP note format. Then from there, the nurse practitioner can copy and paste that into their own charting system so they can get the chart note done you know, right away. They can do one of my favorite charting tips, which is signing the chart note right after the patient encounter. And ultimately, you know, it'll help them speed up the process of charting so that they can stop charting at home. So let's get into some of the pros of using Freed AI. First off, it is an affordable AI system. It is $99 per month. I also have an affiliate coupon code NPCharting, which will get you $50 off your first month of using Freed AI. And if you think about this, you know, it is really an affordable program. It's something that, you know, nurse practitioners can get on their own or they can definitely ask, you know, their employer to cover that cost for them. Another benefit is that it's ready to use. You don't have to wait for a complicated EHR integration. You don't have to beg permission from your clinic manager or your boss for you know, getting it set up. It's something that you can just simply log on to the website and use it you know, from any browser, from a phone, from a computer, you know, whichever is something it's just ready to use. Freed AI will give you an immediate creation of the SOAP note. So you don't have to wait you know, 30, 40 minutes for a scribe to finish with the note. It's something you know, as soon as you walk out of the patient room and hit end visit, it will start populating it. It'll take maybe you know two or three minutes to get that done. Um, for me, I use that time to send any prescriptions, to order any labs, you know, anything like that. And then by the time I'm done with that, Freed AI has the chart note already populated. So then I can just copy and paste that into my EHR. It is HIPAA compliant. So there is no, you know, integration within the EHR. So Freed AI doesn't have any of that personal patient information. Um, even, you know, if you don't say the patient's name or anything, it's not even going to know that. And so it's, you know, HIPAA compliant because it doesn't have any of the patient identifiers saved in its system. So my favorite part of using Freed AI is the fact that I have more time and attention with my patient. So what I used to do is bring my computer into the exam room and I would try to chart, you know, type out the HPI as the patient was talking to me. Um, you know, it was very distracting for both of us. Um, I'm sure the patient felt like they were not being heard because I was, you know, trying to get all the information, number one, so I could stay caught up with charting and number two, so I didn't forget, you know, what signs and symptoms they were having. So when you use Freed AI, 
it abstracts all that information for you. So now I can turn, look at the patient and just focus on what they are saying. And that is honestly my favorite part of using Freed AI. Freed AI also has self-learning capabilities. So there is a button that you can toggle. Um, it says personalization. And so, you know, if you Freed AI populates the information and you go back, maybe take out, you know, some sentences or use a certain phrase a certain way, um, that personalization will kind of help remember that. So for example, um, I don't like to chart in like complete sentences. I just often use phrases. So I say patient denies chest pain reports, you know, nasal congestion, sore throat, earache. And so initially, um, you know, free day I would do the whole sentence, but after I turned on that personalization, it will now, you know, put those in as phrases. And so it kind of remembers some of the things that you like, um, and then we'll do that for the next time. And ultimately, Freed AI will save you so much time charting. You know, it's something that you can, once Freed AI populates that soap note, you just copy, you paste it into your own charting system, and then you can sign the note, you know, right after seeing the patient. So it's going to prevent you from having to dictate or, you know, talk into a system. Um, it picks up that information while you're in the patient visit. Um, you don't have to type out everything. So it definitely saves a lot of time. Now I do want to be honest and talk about some of the cons of using Freed AI. So one of them is it's not perfect. Um, sometimes I do have to go back and edit. Um, you know, if Freed AI did not get the proper information, um, or if it's something that was maybe a little bit, you know, kind of out of order, I will, you know, cut some of that out, um, type in some new information. It's just something that, you know, is the system. And so you kind of just have to get used to that. I definitely look over, you know, the information free day I abstract and make any of those changes before I copy and paste it into my chart note. Um, one other fault is, you know, you do have to have a web browser, so you do have to bring either a computer or a phone into the, um, exam room with you. One nurse practitioner I talked to, they have, you know, the computers already set up, um, in their exam room. And so she was trying to think of a way, you know, she thought she was going to have to bring her computer in to each one of those exam rooms. So we kind of talked about, you know, maybe bringing a phone or something smaller that will still um, be able to use Freed AI and it does, you know, save it. So if you log into a desktop, then that will, you know, populate that information will be saved. Um, or, you know, you can always log into um, the Freed AI on, you know, that the computer in the exam room. So, you know, those are just some things you kind of have to get used to, but you do have to have, you know, some kind of computer, tablet, smartphone, you know, whatever will give you access to a web browser. So another thing um, that I have found is sometimes Freed AI will not always, you know, pick up on the information or um, maybe misspelling sometimes. One example is a patient said that they had taken a Ubrel V um, medication and, you know, Freed AI misspelled that. They maybe didn't know what it was or maybe they didn't properly understand what the patient said. Um, so that's an example that I had to go back, you know, and change that. Um, I will say it is very accurate for um, medical terminology and, you know, spelling. Um, I'm a terrible speller and so I love that, you know, it... it has that proper spelling for me. Um, so I don't have to go back and, you know, do spell check. So, um, just know, you know, it's not a completely perfect system. You will, will have to kind of pay attention to those things and sometimes edit some of that stuff. And then another, um, con that I have is like I had mentioned, it does use, you know, full sentences. And so I, if that's one of my pet peeves in charting, um, not that it's a huge deal. I just have some perfectionist tendencies with my own charting. I like the chart notes, you know, very 
um, have a good flow and very easy to read, you know, easily pick up on that information. Um, but like I said, if you toggle that personalization, um, then free day, I will kind of pick up on, oh, you know, you start using the phrases instead of the full sentences. So another one of the cons about using Freed AI just has to do with the flow of information. Um, and I kind of alluded to this earlier, but you are able to see, you know, those complex, comprehensive patients that have multiple conditions or, you know, multiple complaints or issues to address. Um, occasionally that information will get kind of out of order. So one thing that I learned to do is just be very, you know, specific with that transition. So I'll say, okay, now let's talk about, you know, your type 2 diabetes or, you know, now let's talk about your hypertension. And so I try to just be a little more, you know, kind of give that cue um, to transition onto the next topic. Um, as you know, sometimes the visits with patients will be kind of all, all over the place. So sometimes that information does get kind of out of order and you do have to go back and edit that. So those are some of the pros and cons of using Freed AI. Like I said, I have been using it in my own practice and I do have a affiliate coupon code in P charting will get you $50 off your first month. Freed AI does allow access to 10 free visits, so I definitely encourage you to use the link below and give it a try. Um, it's something that you know you can kind of get a feel for and make sure it will be a good fit for your own practice before you make that subscription purchase. Those of you that have tried free AI or who are using it, I would love to hear if you have any other pros or cons to add to that list. If you have any other questions, definitely let me know and make sure to check out some of my other videos. I have, you know, tutorials, how to's, um, how I implement that in my own practice. So definitely check out free AI. I think it's going to be a game changer for nurse practitioners, and I think we'll see all of healthcare just kind of transition and make a move towards AI systems.